Hey guys, I'm Galactic from Galactic Tutorials, and I'm going to show you how to animate in GIMP. Now, there are three different ways in which you can animate in GIMP, well, technically four, but um, I'm going to show you all three of them, and each starts with learning how to use GIMP. Now, if you don't know how to use GIMP, which I really hope you do, but if you don't, uh, you can check out this video right over here. I made it, it just explains the basics of GIMP and pretty much just how to download it for the basics and such. Just, just click it right now and uh, now we can start the main part of the tutorial. So you can see I made a bunch of animations right over here. Uh, pretty much to start you're just going to click new and um, you can make the width whatever you want. I'm just going to make it pretty small. Uh, you can make it 920 by 1080 but the bigger it is the more space it takes up. So I'm just going to make it small because I don't want it, this taking up a lot of space on my computer. Now pretty much for the first method you're just going to duplicate like all the layers that you want. You want the background to be white or well technically you can upload a background and then like duplicate that a thousand times but we're just gonna make the background white for this one. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make all the layers previous uh, invisible and you're just going to uh, make whatever animation you got right over I hope I'm doing this right. Oh sorry let me edit on do that. I was editing this layer which is invisible Pretty much you want to make all these layers invisible and then the background layer visible and then you want to start animating. So I'll make this a smiley face. As you can see now it's invisible and you don't want it invisible because you want to have something to reference off of. So pretty much what you do is you click on this layer, you make it visible and you make the opacity 50. So now when you're editing and such, I don't even know what I'm doing for this. But now you can have something to uh, reference off of. I hope this isn't giving you nightmares, guys, uh, because it's giving me nightmares and it's kind of scary. Uh, I'll make this 50 again. If you want, you can make the opacity of the last picture 100. Uh, some people don't like to do that, but I think I'm just going to do that just for the sake of time. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like in the end. All right, so uh, once you're done with that, uh, you're going to click Filter. You're going to click Animation and then Playback and so hopefully that doesn't give you nightmares but if you want to make it slower you can go like 0.5 or 0.125 maybe <laughs> maybe like that speed whatever whatever speed you want that I'm just gonna make it like this because I have no clue and um yeah so uh, if you like that um pretty much you can just export it right now However, if you export it right now, it will be a slightly larger file size. But you can export it. Make sure you export it as a GIF. However, we don't want a large file size. So what we're going to do is we're going to click uh, Filter, Animation, Optimize for GIF. I'll take a couple seconds. This is just uh, cutting all the excess, um, all the excess background out, all the excess white out. As you can see right over here, it's pretty much taking the image and then just cutting a bunch of stuff out in in pretty much simple terms but um yeah what I would do is I would save both files if you want to edit this one again then actually no I would I would just export from this one like click export uh, save it as something like derp or whatever uh, save the gif Make sure this is clicked as an animation, and if you want to loop forever, you can. Uh, if you don't, just uncheck it, but I like to loop forever because my animations are generally stupid. And, um, yeah, I wouldn't save this one because you already have it saved regularly, so why would you need to do that again? But um, I would save this one definitely in case you ever want to, an um, if, if you want to work on it again in the future. You can't work on the one that we just did on in the future because it has a bunch of uh, clear parts and it, it doesn't have the full background, so... That's why I would work on this one in the future. It just makes it a lot easier. So we're going to save this as, you know, what I, we're going to save it in GIMP stuff. And we're going to name it derp.xef. So in case we ever want to edit it again in the future, you got that right over there. So now we're going to work on the uh, next way to animate. Now uh, the next way to animate uh, is also this way to animate. As you can see, it came out pretty, pretty weird looking. I'll just show you what it looks like right now. Uh, pretty much, it's just animating with a background. It's kind of stupid looking. Let me just make it a bit faster so you guys can see it. it looks kind of dumb, but um, 
uh, pretty much what you're gonna do is you're just gonna upload a background or open it or like open this layer and uh, you're gonna duplicate it as many frames as you want again you can delete a couple frames if you don't want that through the delete layer tool uh, delete layer option by just right clicking it I'm just right clicking and clicking the duplicate layer in case you didn't know how I was duplicating the layer of course um, and now we're just going to do the same way how you regular animate just like random stuff and yeah I don't know what I'm doing bro let's just let's just meet you guys when I'm done alright so I made an infinitely crappy animation again and I don't even know why I, I this actually has no plot or anything whatsoever it's just stupidity right there but uh, yeah I would go again by the same way saving it uh, filter uh, optimize for GIF etc etc so you can see it cuts out the uh, stupid parts and then you just export it as a GIF and then you save yeah X this one out and then you save it this one alright now say you have a great animation aka not this one but say you have a great animation and you just realized oh god I really want a background for this but you don't have one now uh, don't freak out because you can fix that pretty much what you gotta do is you gotta go into layer click transparency and then click color to alpha. Now you gotta do this for all the layers. Um, if there's if there's an actual like tool that you could just like instantly do that for like one um, just the entire image, please notify me so I can notify you guys or the people that don't know uh, because I've been looking for that and I still can't find it and it's been kind of annoying me. So you know, just please tell me because it would help a lot of people. But yeah, you're just gonna do that to all the pictures and I'll just skip ahead. Alright, so once you got that insanely useless picture, you're just going to open as a layer, and I'll just put this thing over here, yay, and as you can see, it's background, but there's all, it's just, if you tried to animate this, it would pretty much just like, it, it just, this would just pile on top of all the other layers, and it's kind of stupid, so we're gonna, just going to duplicate this the amount of times that we have frames, so, about, so I guess four times we're going to duplicate this. And um, pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to drag one of these backgrounds behind each layer, as so. And um, yeah, now you got a background for each picture. However, if you were to animate this, it would just blink on and off the actual animation in the background. So in order to merge the two, you're just going to make all the layers invisible. All layers invisible, except for your first foreground and your background. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click either or and you're going to click merge visible layers. So now the foreground is merged with the background and they're one picture now. And it's going to do the same thing to the rest of the layers and I'll meet you guys after I'm done. So yeah guys, I'm done. Uh, pretty much what you're going to do is just going to make it uh, them all visible again. And we're going to play this back. And it works, even though this is a crappy animation. But this is, um, that technique was great for, um, if you have like a sketch or something and you you really liked it and you're editing it but you don't have a background and you're like freaking out over it now you don't have to freak out but uh, you also have to color everything again so that's kind of annoying but that's pretty much the best way to uh, do that tactic or step whatever. okay we're also going to show you guys another yet another way to animate so this is yet by far not the last one uh, this is the picture on picture animating oh yip de doo -da. Uh, this also works if um, you want to, like, say, cut and paste a picture, if you're, like, um, <clears throat> Homestuck fans, and you want to uh, put a picture on a GIF and make it look like it's moving and doing that thing if you just don't want to do any more work than you gots to. So pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to take your pictures. Watch, this region isn't empty. Whatever. We're just gonna We're just going to do different things. But, um, yeah, you're going to copy and paste the picture. Let me just actually, like, try and copy and paste this stuff. Cut. Seriously, this is getting kind of annoying. Oh, sorry. Cut. Okay. So, um, yeah, where was I? All right. So, pretty much, if it's just a regular PNG that you have, that's how you put, uh, you open it as a layer and you just, like, put it above the picture that you want to and then coordinate that by making all the layers invisible and then moving it around and such. However, if you want to paste another picture on top of 
your other picture, you're going to go into edit, you're going to copy that from your other picture that you liked, like a person's head or something, and you're going to paste, and apparently I didn't cut that, I cut this, so we're just going to have to deal with this stupid thing. And as you can see, it pastes as a floating selection. What you're going to do is right click that, click new layer, and it's going to drag it over here. And um, it's going to be severely stupid. So we're going to drag it over here. And, um, you know, if, um, also, if your GIF has still portions, meaning the uh, character's head is still for a significant period of time, but then moves. What you're going to do is you're going to paste it onto your character's head. So say say this is where your character's head is. And it doesn't move about three frames or two frames. You're going to duplicate that. And when you duplicate it, it's gonna, this little picture is going to be in the same position. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that and put it over here. So now it's like stagnant for two frames. However, what if it moves in this frame? So you, what, if it does move, you're going to duplicate that. You're going to put it over here. Let's add some background. You're going to put it over here, and then you're going to move it with the move tool. So as you can see right over here. And then if it's stagnant for yet another frame or two, you're just going to duplicate that, and it's going to be in the same position as the version that was not duplicated. Henceforth, it will look... Uh, let me just merge all the layers, because that's what you got to do. So let me merge them all, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I merged all the layers like we did in the other part of the tutorial. But yeah, that's how. That's pretty much how you take um, another picture and put it on top of another animation or uh, GIF, for example. But um, yeah, guys, those were all the ways that you can animate. I believe it's like four or three. I'm not quite sure which one. I think one of them was a tip, so it might still be three plus one tip or whatever. Also, here's another tip. Uh, if you don't want to duplicate the layer and you're just making it a white background, just continue is select, click new layer right over here, click white, click OK, and then just continue doing that. And it's really easy. But um, if you, if you got like a background picture or something of the sorts, like, like this background picture, there's no way in order to do that fast. You just gotta keep on duplicating it, which is kind of annoying. Oh wait, actually no, there's a duplicate button. Wow, I didn't know that's that. All right, uh, you, I guess you could do that. Sorry guys, I guess I've been wasting your time, hold. All up until now. Yeah, click the duplicate button. That's that's actually really easy. Oh my god. So beautiful. So, um, yeah, guys. Hope you like the duplicate button. If you did, uh, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you like my video, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. You know, do whatever. And, um, you know, I hope this video really helped you guys. Because I made some pretty cool animations. Well, actually, I didn't. But I really wanted to add a background to them. And I didn't know how to. So I was looking all over YouTube, and I just figured it out on my own, and I didn't even need YouTube's help. But, you know, if you didn't figure it out on your own, and you're really worried about this animation that you got, and you gotta add a background, or you just want to start animating in the first place, then that's how you do it. Um, you know, guys, I really hope this video helped you. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.